In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to recreate this visualization from Workout Wednesday week 46. In particular, I'm going to show you how to give enough spacing for the labels on the ends of the lines. So you can see here how the, the numbers are all right to the right hand to the left hand side of each dot. So how do we go about doing that? Okay, so the answer is we actually have to do it with dynamic reference bands. But let's go ahead and recreate the viz. So I'm gonna start by connecting to the data set. And I believe it's called US Population Estimates. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pivot all of the ages. So I'm gonna select the first age, go all the way to the end eventually. Okay, let's just slide this all the way over. Go ahead and select that. And then let's go ahead and pivot the data. Okay, so I'm gonna call this uh, ages and I'm gonna call this population. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go to a new sheet. And now you notice when I put my ages in here, I get the word age as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and split that field. So I'm gonna go down to transform and split. And uh, what you'll see here is we now have, uh, let's see here, come on, we now have the particular ages. So I'm going to just rename that as age. There we go. Great. So I can go ahead and get rid of that field. And we have our ages. And now what we want to do is if I flip back over to the original, you can see I've got the gender going across and the origin going down. Okay. So let's take the gender or the sex in this case. And we have uh, male, female, and both. And then we have the origin. And we have male uh, total Hispanic. So I'm going to rename, I'm going to edit the alias for the total and call that both as well. Okay. And now we have year on the columns. And we have, uh, we need to go ahead and make sure we select the option for all races so that we don't uh, do any multiple counting. So let's just select all races. And we're going to go ahead and put population in the view. And we have something like that. And we want to go ahead and uh, we want to go ahead and put the ages on detail. But you notice we get kind of a mess of ages here, right? So let's go ahead and go to a new sheet. And I want to grid, I want to create a calculation error. I want to create a group. So I'm going to call these. If I look, go back to the final visualization, you'll see we have older adults and children. The, the children is uh, under 18. So I'm going to select everything up to 17. Actually, let me just go ahead and put age in here instead. And I'm going to go ahead and create a group for the under 18s. All right, and I'm going to edit the LAS of that and I'm going to call that under 18. And then I'm going to do 65 plus. So I want to go ahead and pick 100. Hold the shift key down and go to 65 and group that. And I'm going to call that one 65 plus. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into my age, my group here. I'm going to edit the group and I'm going to include everything else in the other category. Okay. So I'm going to call this uh, age groups and hit okay. <clears throat> All right, so now we have those. So I can go ahead and put age groups on here instead. And let's take age off of the view. Okay, now for the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and assign these some colors. So I'm gonna to go to my favorite color palette, which is my Makeover Monday color palette. And you'll see we have children are the blue and we have uh, 65 plus is like the orangish color, something like that. Hit okay. And then I wanna rearrange these, so there we go. That'll put the blue on top of the orange. Okay, so now to create a percent of total, I need to add a table calculation here. So I'm gonna to go to add table calculation and I wanna do a percent of total calculation. I'm gonna go down the pane and then I'm gonna choose specific dimensions. So what this is telling me is for each year, sex and origin, compute the percent of total by the age groups, okay? And we have that. Um, and now what I want to do is if I actually, I don't want to show the other, but if I exclude these, well, actually, let me go ahead and just turn on the mark label. So I'm going to go ahead and go onto the label shelf and show the mark, mark labels on the line ends. Actually, I'm going to do it on the min and the max of the year. 
so that's going to give me kind of the labels. Or it puts these nice little dots on the ends of the line. But what I want to put on there is the percent of total label. There we go, something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and format this. So let's do format, go to the pane, and let's make it percentage. And I believe we did one decimal place. If I flip back over, yeah, one decimal place. And you see our numbers match. Great. So keep in mind here, this um, uh, the under 18s are 22.8% right here. If I filter out my other, so if I just uh, exclude that, what you'll notice is my grant, my subtotals will, or my, I'm sorry, my percent of totals will recalculate, right? So I don't want that. I don't want it to recalculate that way. So I'm going to, I'm going to undo that. And actually, I'm just going to right click on it. And I'm going to hide it instead. So that means it's still part of the calculation, which is what I want. Okay. So now I'm going to actually change my labels to maybe eight point, and I'm going to match the mark color and make them Tableau medium. Okay, so we've got something like that. But now if we go back, you see I've got this nice little spacing here. Okay, so actually the next thing I'm going to do is it looks like we want uh, reference lines at 2016 and 2060. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit my axis. And I'm going to set my tick marks to be fixed. Uh, my origin is 2016. And then I want to do this every uh, 44 years. And you see, I got 2016 and 2060. And then I'm going to go ahead and format the view, and I'm going to get rid of my grid lines on my rows. So, oops. So, rows, I'm going to set my grid lines to none. And I'm going to set my zero line to none in both. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're getting closer. Uh, so, now what we need to do is we need to, oh, actually, I need to fix my axis here. I'm going to get rid of the word year. Okay. Um, a couple other formatting. So now we've got this, uh, looks like we've got some bolding in the formatting. So let's go ahead and fix that while we're here. And let's go ahead and make this uh, Tableau medium. And I believe I made it like black. And then let's do the same thing on this one, Tableau medium and black. And then I'm going to rotate this label because I want it to look sideways. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide the field labels for the rows and hide the field labels for the columns. And then last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, uncheck the show header option. Okay, so we got something like that, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so again, I need, my goal is to get this kind of space here. So to, so to do that, I, I could do it with a fixed level of detail calculation, but part of the challenge uh, in the workout Wednesday was to do it with table calculations. So I'm gonna create a table calc. Um, uh, and I'm going to say something like, uh, I'm going to call this min space, uh, uh, min buffer. And what I want to do is I want to take the window min of my year. And I want to, uh, I want to subtract from that, uh, let's just say 20, for example. And uh, I need to do my, uh, let's see, so I could do the attribute of year. So I need to aggregate that value. Okay. So now if I drag that into, I'm just gonna drag it onto my detail shelf. And if we hover over, you can see uh, my last item there says 1996, et cetera, right? So they all say 1996. But what I wanna do here is I wanna make sure that calculation sticks. So I'm gonna do table cross, that's fine. And then I wanna choose specific dimensions. So this is now saying for each origin and age group, calculate the uh, minimum year uh, for each sex and gender. We actually probably could do it for all of them together. So now if we do it like that, we get, oh, no, that's all, that's wrong. Okay, so let's edit that table calc again. And we want to do table cross. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now everywhere I hover over, I've got 1996 for my minimum buffer, no matter where I look. Okay, so now that I have that, I wanna go ahead and I wanna plot on a reference line. And I want to do it on my year field for the table. That means it's going to impact every one of these panes. And I'm going to set it to my min buffer. I'm going to turn off my labels. And for now, I'm going to leave it as a line. So you can see what it's doing. So you see how it gives me this buffer here. And now I can do the same thing for the max. So I'm going to duplicate this field. And I'm going to call this one the max buffer. And here I'm gonna do, set a window min, I'm gonna do a window max. And uh, I need to add 20 years in this case. 
Okay, so let's put that one on the detail shelf as well. And we need it on the detail shelf so that we can uh, use it in the uh, reference line. So again, I wanna do table across and then choose specific dimensions. So I'm gonna bring on my reference line again. And this time I'm gonna choose the max buffer. Say none, turn off the recalculate. Okay, so now we've got this nice little buffer here. Um, and uh, what uh, the last thing I wanna do here, or not the last thing, but what I wanna do is I wanna remove my column dividers. So I'm gonna do none, because I believe that's how it looks here. Yeah, we've got the column dividers. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna throw this on a dashboard and I believe the requirement here was to make the dashboard 800 by 700. So I'm just gonna double click on this sheet, make this, uh, make my dashboard 800 by 700 and I'm gonna get rid of that. And my title says uh, America's aging population. Okay, so let's see if I can actually copy and paste it. So here's a little trick for you. So I should, oops. So Tableau Public is refreshing in my face here. So let's do something like that. And I'm gonna cheat and hope this works. Okay, so this should be, I think this should be Tableau semi-bold. And let's make it, uh, I believe it was more like, probably like 20 point or something like that. And then this one should be um, probably more like uh, 12 point or something like that. Okay, so good enough. <clears throat> okay. So now we've got that nice little buffer in there, but if we want to make it a bit more dynamic and, and let the, you know, get it just right, I could actually parameter, parameterize this. So I'm going to create a parameter. I'm going to call it my buffer. This allows you to kind of experiment with it a bit more. So I'm going to make it an integer and uh, I'm just going to maybe set it as a range from maybe one to 50 or 40, something like that. It doesn't really matter. And now what I could do is I could go back into each of these calculations and I could do buffer here. And then if I do this again and I edit my table calc and I do minus buffer. Okay. So now if I show this parameter, well, you see, you see how my label now is in the wrong spot. So I can just gradually increment this until I get it the way that I want. So, it looks like maybe five is okay, but let's go back to our dashboard and see what happens here. So you see the placement is still a bit wrong. So I'm gonna actually go in here to my dashboard and do it in here instead. So I'm gonna show my buffer, but I'm gonna actually float this because I, I want, uh, I'm gonna end up removing it anyway. So we've got something like that. And I'm gonna just keep playing around with it until I get it just right. So 10, maybe it's 15. You know, you just kind of keep dragging it on. So maybe let's make it 20. Uh, okay, so actually I forgot to do one thing here in my sheet. So my labels need to be centered. So centered vertically. Okay, there we go. So if I go back to my dashboard now, we can see that looks pretty good. Maybe we slide it down a bit. And there we go, that's probably good enough. Maybe let's make it 15. But that's a good way to use a parameter to make sure you have enough, uh, you can sort of play around with it until you're done. So I'm gonna get rid of my parameter. And now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to format my reference line. So I'm gonna say none, uh, and that should take care of both. I uh, know it just takes care of the, the, uh, the maximum. So let's do none on the minimum. And there we go. So now we have our, our view complete. And uh, so we've used table calculations to uh, not only show the percentage of total by hiding the one value, uh, but I'm also using the, per, the, um, the uh, table calculation along with a parameter to give us the buffer on either side. So this is useful because now if we get more years, it'll continue to buffer the, um, the, the so right now this is 2060, let's, so let's say in five years, we've got 2065 as our last date, then our buffer would go out to 2080 and we'd still have enough space to display the labels properly. So that's a much more dynamic way to show the information. Okay, so let's see what else we missed here. So if we go back to the requirements, um, I believe if we focus, let me open the image in a new tab here to zoom in on it a bit. Okay, so it looks like we actually have uh, some dashed lines here for our, for our um, oops. So let's format again. And we wanna to go to our grid lines on our columns. And we wanna make these dashed lines and a bit darker. So maybe something like that. And then there's some calculations we need to do to get that dot and things like that. So um, 
But there were a lot of questions in this week's Workout Wednesday for how to do that. So hopefully you found that helpful. And I'll publish this uh, video and along with the dashboard. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, just go to my blog, vizwiz.com, and uh, you'll be able to download the workbook from there. Okay, well, I hope you hope that helped answer some of the questions about uh, table calculations. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.